Raymond Claude Ferdinand Aaron French Emma the 14th of March 1905 to the 17th of October 1983 was a French philosopher sociologist political scientist and journalist He is best known for his 1955 book The Opium of the Intellectuals the title of which inverts Karl Marx's claim that religion was the opium of the people Aaron argues that in post-war France Marxism was the opium of the intellectuals in the book, Aaron chastised French intellectuals for what he described as their harsh criticism of capitalism and democracy and their simultaneous defense of Marxist oppression, atrocities, and intolerance. Critic Roger Kimball suggests that Opium is a seminal book of the 20th century. Aaron is also known for his lifelong friendship, sometimes fractious, with philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre. He is also known for his 1973 book, The Imperial Republic, The United States and the World 1945-1973, which influenced Zbigniew Brzezinski and Henry Kissinger, among others. Aaron wrote extensively on a wide range of other topics. Citing the breadth and quality of Aaron's writings, historian James R. Garland suggests. Though he may be little known in America, Raymond Aron arguably stood as the preeminent example of French intellectualism for much of the 20th century. Life and career Born in Paris, the son of a secular Jewish lawyer, Aaron studied at the École Normale Supérieure, where he met Jean-Paul Sartre, who became his friend and lifelong intellectual opponent. He was a rational humanist, and a leader among those who did not embrace existentialism. Aaron took first place in the aggregation of philosophy in 1928, the year Sartre failed the same exam. In 1930, he received a doctorate in the philosophy of history from the École Normale Supérieure. He had been teaching social philosophy at the University of Toulouse for only a few weeks when World War II began, he joined the Armée de l'Air. When France was defeated, he left for London to join the Free French Forces, editing the newspaper, France Libre Free France. When the war ended Aaron returned to Paris to teach sociology at the École Nationale d'Administration and Sciences Po. From 1955 to 1968, he taught at the Sorbonne, and after 1970 at the Collège de France. In 1953, he befriended the young American philosopher Alan Bloom, who was teaching at the Sorbonne. A lifelong journalist, Aaron in 1947 became an influential columnist for Le Figaro, a position he held for 30 years until he joined L'Express, where he wrote a political column up to his death. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1960. Aaron died of a heart attack in Paris on the 17th of October 1983. Topic: <laughs> Political commitment. In Berlin, Aaron witnessed the rise to power of the Nazi Party, and developed an aversion to all totalitarian systems. In 1938 he participated in the colloque Walter Lippmann in Paris. <laughs> Political thought Aaron is the author of books on Karl Marx and on Karl von Clausewitz. In Peace and War he set out a theory of international relations. He argues that Max Weber's claim that the state has a monopoly on the legitimate use of physical force does not apply to the relationship between states. In the field of international relations, in the 1950s, Aaron hypothesized that despite the advent of nuclear weapons, nations would still require conventional military forces. The usefulness of such forces would be made necessary by what he called a nuclear taboo. Topic works A prolific author, he wrote several thousand editorials and several hundred academic articles, essays, and comments, as well as about 40 books, which include, La Sociologie Allemande Contemporaine, Paris, Alkin, 1935, German Sociology, London, Heinemann, 1957 Introduction à la philosophie de la histoire. Essay sur les limites de l'objectivité historique, Paris, Gallimard, 1938, Introduction to the Philosophy of History, an essay on the limits of historical objectivity, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1948 Essay sur la théorie de l'histoire dans l'Allemagne contemporaine. La philosophie critique de l'histoire, 
Paris, VRIN, 1938 L'homme contre les tyrans, New York, Editions de la Maison Française, 1944 de l'armistice à l'insurrection nationale, Paris, Gallimard, 1945 Lage des empires et l'avenir de la France, Paris, Défense de la France, 1945 Le Grand Schisme, Paris, Gallimard, 1948 Les Guerres and Chain, Paris, Gallimard, 1951, The Century of Total War, London, Derek Verscale, 1954 La Coexistence Pacifique. Essay d'analyse, Paris, Editions Monde Nouveau, 1953 under the pseudonym François Houtis, with Boris Souverain L'Opium des Intellectuals, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1955, The Opium of the Intellectuals, London, Secker and Warburg, 1957 Polemiques, Paris, Gallimard, 1955 La Tragédie Algérienne, Paris, Plan, 1957 Espoir et Pure du siècle. Essays non partisans, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1957 L'Algérie et la République, Paris, Plan, 1958 La Societe industrielle et la guerre, suivi d'un tableau de la diplomata mondiale en 1958, Paris, Plan, 1959 Immuable et changeant. De la Ive à la Ve République, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1959 Introduction. Classes et conflits de classes dans la société industrielle Ralph Darendorf, Paris, Moutonne d'Itor, 1959 Dimensions de la conscience historique, Paris, Plan, 1961 Pay et guerre entre les nations, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1962, Peace and War, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1966 Le Grand Debat. Initiation à la stratégie atomique, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1963 Dix huit lacons sur la société industrielle, Paris, Gallimard, 1963, 18 lectures on industrial society, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1967 La lutte des classes, Paris, Gallimard, 1964 Essay sur les libertés, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1965 Démocratie et totalitarisme, 1965 Trois essays sur l'âge industrie. Paris, Plan, 1966, The Industrial Society. Three Essays on Ideology and Development, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1967 Les Etapes de la Pensée Sociologique, Paris, Gallimard, 1967, Main Currents in Sociological Thought, London, Weidenfeld and Nicholson, 1965 De Gaulle, Israel et les Juifs, Paris, Plan, 1968 La Revolution Introuvable. Reflections sur les événements de mai, Paris, Fayard, 1968 Les désillusions du progrès, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1969, Progress and Dissolution, The Dialectics of Modern Society, Pall Mall Press, 1968 Dune Saint Famille à l'autre. Essay sur le Marxisme imaginaire, Paris, Gallimard, 1969 De la condition historique du sociologue, Paris, Gallimard, 1971 Etudes politiques, Paris, Gallimard, 1972 République impériale. Les états unis dans le monde, 1945-1972, Paris, Kalman Lévy, 1973, The Imperial Republic, The United States and the World 19,451,973, Little Brown and Company 1974 Histoire et dialectique de la violence, Paris, Gallimard, 1973, History and the Dialectic of Violence, Analysis of Sartre's Critique de la Raison Dialectique, Oxford, Blackwell, 1979 Penser la guerre, Clausewitz, Paris, Gallimard, 1976, Clausewitz, Philosopher of War, London, Routledge, 1983 Pladoyer pour l'Europe décadente, Paris, Lafont, 1977, In Defense of Decadent Europe, South Bend, Indiana, Regnery, 1977 with André Glucksmann and Benny Levy. Sartre's Errors, A Discussion. Telos 44, Summer 1980. New York, Telos Press Le Spectateur Engagé, Paris, Juilliard, 1981 Interviews, Memoirs, Paris, Juilliard, 1983 Les Dernières Années du siècle, Paris, Juilliard, 1984 Über Deutschland und den Nationalsozialismus. Fruy Politische Schriften 1930-1939, Joachim Stark, ed., and Pref, Opladen, Lesk and Budrick, 1993 Le Marxisme de Marx, Paris, Editions de Falois, 2002 De Giscard à Mitterrand, 1977-1983 Editorials from L'Express, with preface by Jean-Claude Casanova, Paris, Editions de Falois, 2005 Topic Other media Raymond Aron, Spectator Engagé 
Entretiens avec Raymond Aron, Duration, 160 Minutes, DVD, Editions Montparnasse, 2005 Topic References Topic Sources Anderson, Brian C., Raymond Aron, The Recovery of the Political, Roman and Littlefield, 1998 Davis, Read M.A. Politics of Understanding, The International Thought of Raymond Aron. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Louisiana State University Press, 2009 ISBN 978 0 8071 3517 4 Gogliano, Giuseppe La Nuova Sinistra Americana e il Movimento del Maggio Francese nel Interpretazione di Raymond Aaron e Herbert Marcuse. Uniservice, 2011 ISBN 978-88-6178-660-8 Launay, Stephen, La Pensée politique de Raymond Aron, Paris, Presses Universitaires de France, 1995 Mahoney, Daniel and Brian Paul Frost eds, Political Reason in the Age of Ideology, Essays in Honor of Raymond Aron, New Brunswick, London, Transaction Publishers, 2006 Molina, Geronimo, Raymond Aron, Realista Politico. Del Machiavellismo a la Critica de las Religiones Seculares, Madrid, Sequitur, 2013 Streetark, Joachim das Unvaliendate Abenteuer. Geschichte, Gesellschaft und Politik im Werk Raymond Arons, Würzburg, Königshausen und Neumann, 1986 Stark, Joachim, Raymond Aron, 1905-1983, in Dirk Kessler, Klassiker der Soziologie, Vol. 2, von Talcott Parsons bis Anthony Giddens, Munich, Beck, 5th ed., 2007, 105-129 Bavage, Ricardo Ideologie Rausch und Realitätsblindheit. Raymond Aron's critic M. Intellectualen Französischen Typs, Zeithistorische Forschungen, Studies in Contemporary History 5, 2008, No. 2, 332 338, URL, www.zeithistorische forschungende 1612604 Bavage 2 2008 Oppermann, Matthias, Raymond Aron und Deutschland. Diver Tidegang der Freiheit und das Problem des Totalitarismus, Ostfeildern, Thorbeck Verlag 2008. Oppermann, Matthias, ed., Im Kampf gegen die Modernen Tyrannien. Ein Raymond Aaron Brevier, Zurich, NZZ Libro 2011. Stark, Joachim, Das Unvolendete Abenteuer. Geschichte, Gesellschaft und Politik im Werk Raymond Arons, Würzburg, Königshausen und Neumann, 1986 Stark, Joachim, Raymond Aron, 1905-1983, in Dirk Kessler, Klassiker der Soziologie, Vol. 2, von Talcott Parsons bis Anthony Giddens, Munich, Beck, 5th ed. 2007, 105-129, External links Raymond Aaron at Find a Grave